So the size of the sun, really big, right? It's a huge number. Or the um, diameter of an atom, incredibly small number. So very small. With, in science, we have numbers that we use uh, for, th for things that we've measured uh, or calculated that are either really, really big or really, really small. And so, so I've got an example of a couple numbers up here. They're arbitrary numbers. They don't really pertain to anything. But if we've got this huge number with all these zeros, right, really big number, <clears throat> and then here I've got this really, really tiny number representing something. So we like to have an easy way to write write this with all these zeros in here. Um, and the easy way that we write this, or the nicer way to write this, is what we call scientific notation. So scientific notation um, we, is just when we have a number written so that it only has one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal, so in front of the decimal, and then it's times 10 to some power. So for example, um, if I gave you like 4.5 times 10 to the second, right? I've got one uh, digit in front of the, one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point, and I've got it multiplied by 10 to some power. So if I gave you some other numbers, so let's see, I've got this guy, um, maybe another one like that, or perhaps four. Okay. So I've got some different numbers written up here in scientific notation, um, not very neatly written. So <coughs> if we look at each one of these, So let's look at this one at the bottom first. So is this one written in scientific notation? Or if you want to just take a minute, pause the video, and decide, based on what I told you the definition of scientific notation is, uh, which one of these guys are written in scientific notation. Um, you could do that. Uh, well, if we look at the one on the bottom, um, this guy is written in scientific notation. Even though I've got lots of numbers after the decimal point, Sorry if you couldn't see my decimal point. It's there. I still have one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point, and I'm times 10 to some power. Uh, if we look at this guy in the middle, point, there's a secret zero there always in front of the decimal, right? Point zero six one two times 10 to the negative 3. Uh, this one is not in scientific notation, and that's because we don't have a non-zero digit to the left of the decimal or in front of the decimal. Um, this guy actually is written in scientific notation, 7.3 times 10 to the 0. Um, and the reason why it's written in scientific notation, we got one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point, and we have 10 raised to a power. So even though it's the 0 power, that's okay. It's still a power, so we're good to go. Um, and this last one, the first one I wrote, um, 450 times 10 squared. Uh, not in scientific notation. Can you see why this one's not in scientific notation? Yeah, it's, there's no, there's more than one digit in front of the decimal point. Uh, so we have 450. We'd have to just have the four for this guy to be in scientific notation. So that's what scientific notation is. Uh, let's do a couple of examples now where we actually convert between scientific notation and standard notation just to get used to it.